I'm going to change the fuel filter in my 5.9 Cummins. It's a 2003 Dodge. Uh, I guess it's pretty much all the same, relatively. I had a 99 at one time, identical to it. A couple of tools you'll need. Always get your beer. Get your rag to clean your hands. Kind of set everything out. The socket I'm using for it. Let me see. I can't remember the size. One, one and one eighth. It's going to be the size you need. You want to come to the left side of your motor. Look right down in there. That little cap there. You see it's got the hex head on it. That's where you're going to fit your socket. Okay. We get to that. Right below that. This little yellow steel. You want to take that thing and open it up. Drain the diesel out. It's got a drain valve that goes down. You can see that hose right there. You might be able to see that diesel pouring. Okay. Once that cup is pretty well drained, you will take your socket. And on top of that, I've already got it broken loose just to make things easy. You just ratchet that thing open. We're done. Out of the way. Unscrew the thing. Pull it out. Yeah, fidget with it. It's kind of a tight fit. And my filter come off, and that's just the cap. Most of the time, the filter will come out with it, but it's going to be a tight fit. I'm going to kind of work this thing out. There you go. Let's get this thing to the side. It's dripping. It's kind of cruddy. It's filmed up. It'll kind of have some gel build up on it if it's getting wore out or used up truck will run bad too. Once you get all that out, it's good and drain. That hose has been draining. I've already done that. I'm gonna take that thing and shut it back off. Talk funny when I'm straining. There we go, we got it. I need to look for an O-ring in here. It might have came out on the cap. Let's look. Yeah, it's got an O-ring on the cap. Fuel filter should come with it. Just peel that o-ring off. Slide this other one on there. Let me set this cap for a second. See it? Just get this o-ring on the outside of there. Lock it down. Make sure it's all the way against the edge. You want it kinked up in your threads when you put it back on. Okay. Got a good set on the cap. Next you'll just take your filter. I can't remember which way the damn thing went in. Yeah. Okay, that little bulb right there, the little nipple, that goes up. This little thing, very bottomless seat on that little post. Never mind. I'm backwards on that. Let's turn it around. It goes over the shaft. There's only one way it's gonna go. Duh. Okay. I'm going to slide it back in there. Make sure it's got a good seat. And then, put the cap back on. Try to make this quick. You can put the filter on the cap and then slide it in there just the same. Not going to be any difference as long as you got it in there. There's a torque setting on this. Just do old school. Once you kind of got it tight. Snug. About old filter snug. There's a torque setting for that, but you got it tight as long as it ain't gonna back loose on you. Okay, once you got that, make sure your drain valve is closed back up. And you want to go back to the motor there. Turn your key forward. Listen to your fuel pump come on. Up in the front you'll hear it kind of humming. It goes for a couple of seconds. You want to turn it off. Do it again. It's ran twice. Turn it back off. Do it again. 
want to do this about five or six times. What you're doing is priming that filter. It's putting fuel back in that thing. It's third time. The second time it didn't go. Try it again. Okay, it's going. And once you start this thing, it's probably going to run rough for a few seconds until it gets all the air out of the line. And we'll do it two more times and we'll try to fire it up and see what we got. One more time. Sounding good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and this time after it dumps, we'll start it up. Kind of rough on the start. Hank Williams Jr. going. Burn like a cat. Anyways, this is 2003 5.9. And this is why I got this filter from Napa. It's okay. There's a part of this you need it. You have to have one. Quick and simple. Nothing to it. Basically, prime it once you put the new one in to drain it. You can actually go in a little further and 